One word to describe how I feel holding a microphone would be empowered. Constricted. Nervous. At home. The entire the idea of holding a mic made me feel older and mature and powerful, I think. I had a voice. I was being heard. And even though I was I spoke gibberish, I had a, I I was being heard. That was the most powerful thing. I think when I have a microphone in my hand, there is this sense that I have to act in a certain manner or say a certain thing, but I'm far more comfortable when this is removed from the scenario. When this comes into the equation, I feel that in some ways this is a barrier uh, between myself and the other person that's being put up. In some ways extending me some kind of authority or some kind of higher uh, even ability to speak or ability to project than the other person, which I think creates an imbalance that I'm not comfortable with. Maybe it's the one holding the mic, it doesn't really deserve a mic and doesn't the microphone give justice to the very fact that it's about justice? I don't think so. I think the microphone is a design of context internally because the person you are with a microphone in your hand is not the person you are other than. It's almost like you're chained to the microphone. It's such a big constraint and in a way it's total freedom. It's an awesome one. Microphones can influence conflict because they can extend one person's voice beyond the realms of the masses. So one person can have an influence over others that is beyond, I suppose, the realm of influence that a normal individual might have. It is a powerful tool for sure because, you know, a person with very soft voice can also be heard to a huge audience. The thing is that people don't always want to be heard. If I had five seconds to say anything to any audience, I'd say it only takes five seconds to tell the entire world a story. The 2.5 seconds would be about being grateful. The next 2.5 seconds, I'd probably complain about all the things wrong with humanity. Don't be defined by what other people think you should be. I would ask them to make a difference somehow. Showing some kind of action rather than inaction. And saying that in a powerful manner is the main idea because you know, you have to say it with conviction, you have to say it with some sort of experience that you've had and once you put that forth, I think you will make a difference by asking them for the